Hi! In this video, we're going to go over how to order your official transcripts. So, the first thing we're going to do is head to the Clovis Community College website, and that is www.clovescollege.edu. So, once we get to the website, then we're going to head towards the top middle of the screen where you see admissions and aid. So, once you hover over it, it'll turn green, and then we're going to go down to order transcripts and click that link. Now, this will take you to our transcripts page, and there's a bit of information here, and the things to keep in mind are that um, even though you're ordering your transcripts through our website, um, the classes that you've taken at any other um, state, center, community college district site will show up on your transcripts. So if you've taken classes at Fresno City, Reedley, Madera, Oakhurst, um, or any other associated site with SCCCD, then those classes will show up on your transcripts even though you're ordering through us. And so another thing to keep in mind is that if you're ordering transcripts to send over to Fresno State or any other CSU, then you'll be sending them over electronically and we'll go over that once we get to that step. The last thing to keep in mind is that as a student, um, you are entitled to two free uh, official transcripts. Um, and then after that, each additional copy will be $5. Um, and then keep in mind too, if you need to just view your transcripts um, or you just need unofficial transcripts, you can get to those through WebAdvisor. Um, and if you need help with that, go ahead and see the top right of the screen now um, for a link to get help on how to view or print um, unofficial transcripts. So um, now that we've gone over this information, we're going to head to order my transcript and click that button. Now you should be at the Parchment website and this is where you're going to order your transcripts. So the first thing we're going to do is create an account, but you may have an account already if you had to use Parchment to order transcripts um, from your high school. And so um, if you already have an account, you can go ahead and recover that if you've forgotten the password. Um, for that, uh, go ahead and see the top right of the screen now. Um, if no video pops up, then go ahead and hold tight and we'll have a video out on that soon. And instead, go ahead and see the description below um, for some help with recovering your account. Now, the next thing I wanted to mention is there is the option to order on someone else's behalf. For this, um, you will need authorization from the uh, person who the transcripts are for. Um, and for that, uh, if you need help, go ahead and see the top right of the screen now. Again, if there's no video out on that just yet, then go ahead and call our admissions and records office um, and I'll have their contact information on the screen now. Okay, so other than that, uh, if you're creating an account, that's what we're going to do. And so go ahead and scroll down and you're going to put in your email address here. So you can use um, whatever email address that you use regularly and we'll be able to check. Um, so you can use a personal, you can use a school email if you'd like. Um, and yeah, so then the next thing we're going to do after entering your email is click continue. So now you should be at the personal information section. Um, and so if it did load you at the bottom of the screen, then go ahead and just scroll up and you'll start from first name. And so from here, you'll enter in your name, um, your date of birth, uh, your highest level of education, and then you'll go on to the contact information. And lastly, you'll choose a password. So if you already have an account, like I mentioned before, um, then the system will um, recognize your personal information and it will prompt you to either sign in or recover your account. And so you can go through that process um, once it prompts you to do so. So once you enter in all this information, then you're going to click create an account and continue. Now you'll be prompted to confirm your email address. And so go ahead and wait for a code to be sent over to your email address. Um, and then once you have that, then go ahead and enter the code there and click submit. Um, so for me, it didn't take too long, but um, if it's taking a little while, go ahead and hold tight. And then if it takes um, quite a while and you still haven't received the code, then you can head down here to resend my verification email. Um, and so that way you can have it sent again. And ideally then it's sent that second time in a shorter time frame, and you're able to enter the code in here um, and then click submit. So then you'll be sent to the enrollment information section um, and you'll see your name and date of birth at the top of the screen. Then as you scroll down, you'll go ahead and be able to enter in your enrollment information. The first thing it asks is, are you currently enrolled? And so this will be, um, are you currently enrolled at Clovis Community College? So if you click the drop down, then you have the option of putting yes or no. So if you are right now attending Clovis Community, then you'll put yes. And if you are no longer attending Clovis Community College, then you'll put no. The next thing here is your first year of attendance. So the first year that you attended Clovis Community College is what you'll put in there. Um, so maybe you took a break or something like that. That's okay. Go ahead and go with the first year that you ever attended Clovis Community. 
The next thing is your student ID number, and then um, you'll have your name. And so you have the option of selecting your name as you entered it in earlier, or you have the option to put another name um, or your maiden name. And so the second option is for um, at the time you were attending Clovis, if your name was different. So maybe you got married and you changed your name or you changed your name completely or part of your name for any other reason, then you'll go ahead and put the name as it was when you attended Clovis um, here. Um, and so that'll help us find the um, information. Uh, it'll be easier to recognize your account um, and link those even though your name may be different. So the last thing you'll do here is um, choose whether or not to select this checkbox. And so um, if you click the checkbox, then when you're done, all you're going to do is create your account and that's it. Whereas if you leave it um, unchecked, then you will go ahead and be sent to start your order. So in this video, we're gonna go on and go on to our order so I can show you how to do that. And so we are not going to check the box. Um, and then from there, you're going to click continue. So after clicking continue, it should take you to the screen um, where it shows that you do have Clovis Community College transcripts available and it gives you the option to order the transcripts. If for any reason your screen looks different and it's not allowing you to order transcripts from Clovis, then go ahead and see the top right of the screen for our contact information so that you can contact us and get that figured out. Um, so hopefully you do have the option to order and then you can click order. And from here, then you're gonna be prompted to search for the school that you'd like to send it to or enter in your information or someone else's information that you'd like to send the transcripts to. So um, when you search, keep in mind that um, it's usually best to type out the full name of the school that you are sending your transcripts to. For example, if you're sending them to CSU Fresno State, you can type in California State University Fresno State um, or um, any other school, you usually want to type it out fully, but sometimes it will pop up. So for example, with CSU and then Fresno State, it does pop up, but it won't pop up until you've typed it in completely. Um, and then you see it's the first option there. Um, so if you're having trouble with the school popping up, just try different ways, um, try typing it out completely, and usually that'll go ahead and pull up the school easily. Um, another thing to keep in mind is at the bottom here, you have the option to send to yourself or another individual. And so with this, if you're really having trouble finding the school in the search, you can use this option. But if it's a CSU or UC, um, then you should be able to find it in the search option. If it's some smaller school, maybe a private school um, or something like that, maybe that's why you're having trouble finding it. Um, so in that case, you can go ahead and do the second option. And when you fill this out, then you're going to choose to send to another individual. And here you can put in the information for the school that you'd like to send the transcripts to. Usually you'll send it to um, the admissions office, but you should contact the school that you'd like to send your transcripts to um, and ask them so that they can give you, you know, where to send it. So we're going to go ahead and go back and then we're going to um, click order again. And from here we can search the school. I'm going to go with Fresno State. Um, because it's our neighbor. And so from here, we're going to click Fresno State um, and then it'll take you to this screen here. So now you'll see your order for your transcript um, and it clearly shows um, where you're sending your transcript from. So Clovis Community College and then two. So for this example, we have Fresno State. Um, it also shows what the charge will be. And so for me, it'll be $5 because I've ordered transcripts more than twice before. Um, and so that's why I have a charge. But if you've never ordered transcripts before or you've or only ordered them once, then you should have no charge there. Um, if you'd like to check how many times you've ordered transcripts before, you can do that through WebAdvisor. Um, and other than that, if you know it's showing that you have a charge but you're confident you've never ordered transcripts before, you can go ahead and contact our admissions and aid office um, and get that figured out. And so um, from here, then you're going to scroll down and you have the option to choose when you'd like to send your transcripts. And so you have the option between now or you can hold for your degree to be posted. Um, alternatively, um, it may say to hold for your final grades also. And so that's another option. Um, the next thing here is it shows um, an I get see uh, for me. And so um, you can choose uh, to select yes here and you put yes only if you're sending your transcripts to a UC. So the next thing here um, is if you'd like to add an attachment. So um, for any reason, if you need to add any type of attachment, you can do that. Um, and the last thing here is to authorize your transcripts to be sent. And so you can sign here with your mouse or with your finger if you're on some kind of tablet or phone. Um, you can sign your name. 
and then you'll type your name as well and then go ahead and make sure that you click this box to show that you are authorizing um, this transcript to be sent. And then finally, you'll click continue. So my screen may look a little bit different from yours because ultimately I did not complete my order. Um, but wherever you're sent, um, you should be able to click in the orders tab here at the top right of the screen. Um, and this should take you to where you can track your order. Um, so uh, keep in mind that when you place the order, um, you will have to wait for Clovis to process it and then parchment to go ahead and send it over to your school. And so here you can check on that process. You can see if Clovis is still processing or if parchment is sending it over or if it's already reached the school that you'd like to send the transcripts to. Um, and so with that, um, you can go ahead and check here. Um, other than that, if you're having any trouble, you can go ahead and see the contact information on the screen now. Um, or if you need to speak to Parchment directly rather than Clovis Community College, if it's more of a Parchment issue, um, then you can go down to the left at the bottom of the screen and there's the Help Center. And so um, that's pretty much it. And so hopefully the process is smooth and easy uh, for you. And if not, go ahead and contact us or alternatively um, parchment so that we can help you out. So yeah, good luck on this process. Hi, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more help navigating your time here at Clovis Community College. Leave a comment below with anything that you need help with or want to see on our channel. Bye.